Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here. Thanks for joining me for another Fabricate Friday video. Today I have a little project. It's just a tiny little bag, um, but I'm going to be mixing up the colorway a little bit. This is a retired piece of designer series paper, and I like to do a lot of my um, <clears throat> prototypes in the leftover designer series paper that has basically been retired. But today I'm going to show you how to make it in something that is current. So today I have some fancy foil vellum and I'm you're I'm using here um, a piece of uh, cardstock well or the vellum that is six and a half by four and a half so I'm going to start scoring on the long side at two inches and three inches and five inches and six inches and then I'm going to turn it round and we're going to score at one inch and then three and a quarter so I was very gentle when I um, scored that all right so you will see that you have a one inch side and a one and a quarter inch side on the top. So that top portion is definitely going to be the top and the one inch side is going to be the bottom. So I'm not going to fold it right now. What I am going to do is just cut out some of the pieces because we're going to have to remove a considerable amount. So there's a little thin strip here. We're going to remove that uh, corner and then we are going to remove the whole entire um, portion up here except for this big piece and then we'll score or then we'll fold and burnish and then we'll cut out a little bit more it's just I find it easier when I have to um, cut a big long piece oops to do it when it's not uh, fold it, especially when I'm using vellum. All right, so now I'm going to fold up and you do want to make sure that you're on that score line. And using specialty paper like this, it can be done, obviously, because I'm doing it, but it does take a little bit of practice. Because vellum is, it's got a little bit of a different treatment going on, so it, it's a little bit more brittle. So you do want to be cautious on how you handle it. Okay, so um, with no further ado, I'm bringing in my scalloped tag topper punch and I'm going to fit that little two inch side in there. Just going to curve it gently around. As long as I feel no resistance, I'll check to make sure that it's all the way up there. Punch. And so that's going to be our uh, bag closure. I'm going to use, oh, I forgot to cut. So we're cutting up to that one inch score line. And on the little tabs, you can wedge out if you'd like. I find it um, when you wedge out a little bit, especially in bags, it really helps. Okay. So I'm using my fast fuse on that little corner there. Closing the bag. It doesn't, I mean, you can see a little bit of that, um, the extra vellum. I suppose you can burnish it down with your bone folder and you won't see it as much. You know what? I don't think anybody's going to care. They're going to be wondering what's inside the little baggie. 
Okay, so I'm closing the tabs. I'm clo taking the back and closing the back. And then I will put some adhesive on that front piece, on the inside front piece. Ah. And I would recommend Fast Fuse as opposed to any other adhesive because it's pretty darn sticky. All right, so how I'm going to close it is I have um, a pen here and I'm just going to make a mark. And then with my, I don't know, I'm just using a regular punch. I'm gonna find that mark, punch it through. Then I'm taking a little bit of the silver Baker's twine and I'm tying a knot. You can see I'm wasting it too. <laughs> I'll use that somewhere else, I promise. I feel bad when I waste stuff. But it's way easier to tie a bow with longer bits. Okay, so I'm going to feed the baker's twine. Through the back and it's coming out through that front piece. Then I have a whole load of silver Hershey hugs in here. Maybe that's too many. Oh well. Oh look, there's one left over for me. Okay. This is really good by the way. I'll try not to talk with my mouth full, but it's a little hard. My chocolate, I tell ya. Okay, so I'm just gonna feed the baker's twine through the hole and let's seal this up before I eat any more. So cute. I suppose I should have tied a knot. I'm going for the bow straight away. I shouldn't have pulled that hard. However, I'll fuss with it in a sec. You know how Baker's Twine does this to you? It, it twists up and stuff. It drives me nuts. Okay. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Like really, if anybody notices the adhesive on the back or the sides and says, oh, I have adhesive there. I see you stuck it together very poorly. You're going to take this bag back and you're going to keep the candy to yourself. I swear. Okay, I'm just going to add one more little decoration. These are our wooden um, snowflake embellishments. I think they're fabulous. I'm just going to adhere one with a glue dot and put it on the side of the bag. Um, this very well might be the Christmas gift that I give to my clients in December. How cute is that, hey? I love it. All right, um, thanks for joining me and remember all the um, information's on my blog. Hope you have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.